I just love these types of geometry questions. Today we have water filled inside this cone-shaped tank, such that the height of this empty space is seven units. Now I take this cone and flip it so that the water will move around and settle like this, such that now the height of this empty space is three units. Using only this much information, can you figure out the height of this cone? Okay, let us label the height of this cone as H. Then let us label the radius of this cone, which will be this piece, as R. Finally, let us label the radius of this cone at this height, where we have the surface of the water as X. Now what will be the volume of the water? It will be equal to the volume of the big cone minus the volume of the small empty cone at the top. We know that the volume of the big cone will be 1 by 3 times pi times r squared times h. The volume of the empty cone will be 1 by 3 times pi times x squared times the height of this small cone, which is 7. Therefore, the volume of the water will be 1 by 3 times pi times r squared times h minus 1 by 3 times pi times x squared times 7. Now let us have a look at this flipped cone. This is h, this is radius r, and this is three units. So the height of the water will be h minus three. Let the radius of the surface of the water equals y. Thus, the volume of water in this flipped cone will be one by three times pi times y squared times h minus three. Now here comes the real magic. Consider both these triangles this smaller one and this bigger one. Let this angle be theta. Since both triangles are right-angled and share the same angle theta, the two triangles are similar. Therefore, we can say that this side, or x, by this side, or r, is equal to this side, or 7 by this side, or h. Thus, we get x equals 7r over h. Similarly, for this cone, we can say that this side, or y, over this side, or r, is equal to this side, or h, minus 3, by this side, or h. Thus we get y equals h, minus 3 times r over h. Let us substitute the values of x and y in terms of r and h here, and solve for h. This becomes pi r square h over 3 minus 7 pi over 3 times x square, or this square, so we can rewrite this as pi r square over 3 times h minus 7 cube over h square or pi r square over 3 times h cube minus 7 cube whole divided by h squared. Now substitute y squared here to get this which will become pi r square over 3 times h minus 3 whole cube over h square. Now we will equate both the volumes because the amount of water inside the cone stays the same before and after flipping, as we are not adding or removing any water during flipping. So we get this equation. We can cancel out pi r square over 3 from both sides. Both these h squares will also get cancelled, and we will be left with h cube minus 7 cube, which equals 343 equals h minus 3 whole cube using a minus b whole cube formula, which is a cube minus b cube minus 3ab times a minus b. If we use a as h and b as 3, we will expand h minus 3 whole cube to get h cube minus 9, h square plus 27, h minus 27. Oh, look, the h cubes cancel out. Now bring all the terms to the left-hand side. We get 9h square minus 27h plus 27 minus 343 equals 0. Hence, the final equation is 9h squared minus 27h minus 316 equals 0. Now I will not bore you by solving a quadratic equation. We can do so easily by using a quadratic formula. Thus we get h equals either minus 4.61 or 7.61. But since height h cannot be negative, the only valid solution is h equals 7.61. And we are done. This is the height of this cone. My mind is literally blown away right now. If you enjoyed this video, 
please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good.